Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we are on the league against Levante A and we've got a few changes. Martinelli is back from um, his injury so he's come back in the left wing position. We're actually going to try Mudrik playing in that attacking central midfield role alongside Fabio Vieira. So we're playing two attack midfielders which we don't normally play. I've got Ruben Cash up top because he's on a flashing up which means he can improve very quickly as well. So that's brilliant. He's going to, uh, his stats should go up in the next few weeks. If you didn't watch the last video, we had a, a very convincing win in the Champions League and we're now through to the knockout out stages which is absolutely brilliant and away to Levante today I like playing at these slightly smaller stadiums and um, just because they look a bit different this is quite an open stadium but yeah against Levante you can see all the uh, high-rise flats there as well Ruben Castro should be on well he is on good form but whether he's actually on good form in the game is another question but yeah I'm glad he's on and up Hopefully that'll last a while. If you're not too familiar with Pez games, when you're on that flashing up, it's a bit, well, I'll get into it afterwards properly, but it's a bit, it can be a bit confusing, all the different condition arrows. But an up is the best form you can have, the best condition. A flashing up normally means that your player is going through a, a high rate of growth, so you want to play them as much as possible when they're like that. So not only have they got their uh, they're in form because they're up, but um, they actually improve a lot quicker as well. But there's a few other things that can come into play, which I'll let you know in a moment. Vieira, oh, good save. But yeah, then other times randomly, sometimes you see matches where a lot of players are all flashing and they might not be on ups. They could just be on normal conditions or diagonal up. They're often... Um, like derby matches and I'm not actually sure who is classed as being a derby for Malaga it is in the settings for the team somewhere in Zirkov Mariba yeah if you go into edit you can edit any team you can actually edit who the rivals are and I think you can pick up to three um, so I'm not sure who Malaga's are and I could go in and check outside of the Master League and, and try and edit them and just see which teams come up. You can change them as well, but I, I wouldn't do that. But, for example, you know, you would expect Barcelona to have Real Madrid in there and Man United would have Man City, but they might also have Liverpool. Um, things like that. So you might see someone on a flashing up, but they might not actually be in that growth spurt at that stage, depending if you just happen to be playing a uh, a rival match sort of thing. You normally get a message, I believe, like an email um, to say, you know, by the way, Castro is showing signs of improvement. We suggest you play him, something along those lines. If you get that, it means, yeah, definitely do play them as much as you can. Modric. Not Nelly, I've been too busy talking. It's Diaby, who to me has been the star so far this season. Diaby again. Nelly gets in. Yeah, but Diaby has certainly hit the ground running. Those pre season games, well, not even really pre season, they were Super Cups. Yeah, scored in those. I think at least two of those games. And he's obviously been scoring in the league and the Champions League as well. Good play here. Good tackle from Zirkov though. The regen. There's no one challenging him. No one challenging him at all. Oh, what a goal from Zirkov. Wow, he's run up halfway up the pitch. No one's challenged him. And he's just absolutely launched it into the net. Yeah, no one tried to, I think, well, I've got no one to pass to, but no one's challenged me. Just go for it. And, wow, top corner. That was one of those, like, rising shots. It seems to just, uh, must defy physics. 
brilliant. Well, that's uh, not, not the first name on the score sheet I would have put. And I only changed him into the last second. Uh, Baka had been in there and he's been playing, played really well in the last match. But his, his um, energy wasn't full and I thought, you know, I'll give Zerk off a go, I'll give Baka a bit of a rest. And it's uh, certainly paid off already. Diaby, oh, good save. That was heading in the top corner as well. Great snapshot. Oh, crossbar. I still kind of get those... Um, I'm still trying to get that achievement for... I'm not trying to, achieve, like, trophy hunt on... That. I keep saying achievement. Trophy hunt on this game. Um... But I did spot one where if you use the... Hang on, wait for that. Zerk off again. Nice play from him. Here's Mudrig. Vieira. Of course to block it, as always. Yeah, there's a trophy for scoring by using the set-piece... Um, Good tackle, and then lose it. Good tackle again. Oh, come on, ref. Set-piece strategy. I can get finally get my words out, but if you use set-piece strategy and score off a corner or a free kick, if you do that three times, you get the trophy. I'm, like, I'm, sure, I've def I'm sure I've done it more than three times. Ugh. Well, I put some on the line, but it didn't make a difference. We haven't had a free kick scored against us for a while, but normally um, the computer's absolutely ridiculously... The, the hit rate for free kicks going in is, is very high. Of course, I had the smallest player on the pitch on the line, but it, it's the closest one I could get. You don't have much time to do it. Lovely free kick. And you've got to say that's two brilliant strikes in the game so far. That's poor. I've been a bit sloppy. I've been too busy talking, to be honest. Anyway, here's Zirkov again. Diaby, oh, again a good save. I mean, that keeper has kept them in it. Gotta say that. Could have been 2 or 3 0 before they got their goal. Oh, just over again. I do find it very difficult to keep headers down in this game. I literally just tapped that. Um, it still went over. Here's Castro. Nice ball to Martinelli. Back to Castro. Should have scored, but Martinelli has <laughs> with the tap in. Nice ball. Could have shot there. Played to Castro. Re oh, you've got to score there. The, the right-hand side of the goal was the place to aim. Straight at the keeper. Get a bit of luck. But we'll take the lead again. That's nearly half time. I didn't even realise. It's Castro and Amodric. Oh, nice ball to Martinelli. Oh, wow. I snatched at that. Let's have a quick look at this. I don't normally look at misses unless they're very close, but this one was just, yeah, snatched at it. And that should have been 3 1 at half time. <clears throat> it's the easiest chance of the half, and I missed it. But we'll jump back into the second. And looking at the stats, we had 64% possession, but more crucially, we had 11 shots on goal to their one. But 
they score their one chance off a free kick, which, um, like I say, does happen quite often. The AI. Oh, oh so, so close to a lovely ball from Martinelli. Uh, sorry, from Castro to Martinelli. Defender just got that toe in. Here's Modric. A nice ball to Castro. Shouldn't be playing it at the back there like that. Javiera. Mudrick. Mudrick's had a good game so far. Castro getting crowded out. We gets the ball back. And then loses it. Free kick. I will... Uh, who do you want to take this? Mudrick? Or maybe Vieira. I think Vieira. No, actually I'm going to say Mudrick, sorry. Um, I don't know, like... Looks good. Oh, just clipped the top of the wall. I thought I had the right power. It's a strange game. I wouldn't say we've been at our best by any means, and I don't think any one individual player has a sort of absolute standout game. Sveikov obviously did well for the first goal. Here's Martinelli though. Martinelli still. Oh, just misses Diaby. Really good effort. Giovi, what can he do? He hasn't been involved as much as I would have liked. But here he is now. He's so pacey. On a really nice ball through to Mudrick. I'm not going to score from that angle. Should have passed it across. Let's have a look to see if we can make some subs. So we're going to bring on Carlos Perez for DRB. We're going to take off Fabio Vieira for Lee Kang-in. Teixeira is going to come on for Zirksi. No, not for Zirksi. For Zirkov. corner. Well defended though. Lee Kang in. Of course it's blocked as always. Oh, he's offside there. I thought he was and then there was a delay so I thought oh he must be onside here. Yeah quite clearly. Yeah, we game we've had plenty of chances. Um we haven't been at our best. It's still a very close game because of that free kick they scored. Oh nice play from Carlos Perez there. Oh my word, how has that not gone in? It's deflected and wide. I just it's one of those games I think that just haven't been playing that well. Things don't quite go for you. you get them sometimes. Bushi. Ah, it's a poor cross. Nice to play there, though. Should have been in there. Do get it back, but Castro should have been in. Castro, oh, good strike. Snapshot. I like those types of shots. They work very well on this game. And that'll be our throw. It's not our throw. I let that go out as well. That was a mistake. He 
Miss Castro again. Oh, well, well played there. Martin, he's got a score, and he does. That's more like it. Took extra care with that one. Probably the best move of the match. Debushi to Castro. Carlos Perez. Nice little touch to Mudrik. Pass into Perez. Air to Martinelli. What a finish. I mean, it was a simple finish. It was all just about staying cool, really, and not spurning it like I did uh, the other time when I skied it. <clears throat> That's more like it. Bit of a uh, little bit of comfort. Two goal cushion. Just stayed on side. Has he got the legs though? I mean, he got a touch on the ball, but he absolutely took the player out afterwards. And I, the decisions on these games are so weird. Oh, Martinelli now. And Perez. And that's the fourth. Yeah, Mariba, nice ball. Castro again, influential, playing Martinelli down the line. And Martinelli could have went for goal, maybe should have, but laid it across to Perez, and it's an easy tap in. <clears throat> Bit more convincing. Probably more reflective of, of how the game's gone. But, like I say, we, we certainly haven't been... It's not one of our best performances. We've uh, pl played a lot better than this. And that's cool from Perez. I'm not quite sure what I was trying to do, if I'm honest. Mariba, Lee Kang in. Oh, nice ball to Tech Shara. Martinelli Modric oh just wide but that'll be full time yeah just looking at that 62% possession but it's the 19 shots 12 on target we did spin a few chances and they scored their one goal from a free kick other than that they didn't cause any problems Martinelli getting man of the match. Not really surprised with him getting the double. Ruben Castro was very good. Decent all-round performance. Zirkov getting a seven. He obviously scored that wonder goal at the start there. I think that's his first for the club. And that's it for today, guys. As you can see, we're still five points clear of Real Madrid. So a little bit of a cushion. And I did just check. I'll just quickly show you. Just talking about it. This is the message that I got. Ruben Castro has shown some great promise as of late. So I believe playing a match is our best chance of developing his game further, etc. etc. You'll get a message very similar to that when your player is ready to improve. And if we have a quick look in the game plan, you can see still on a flashing up. Okay, so Sevilla must be one of our rivals. As you can see, there's lots and lots of players on flashing arrows, not necessarily on ups. And Ruben Castro is one of those, but we know with that message and from the previous match that his is because of development reasons rather than being uh, like a, a derby or rival match now the next match after they should go back to normal and hopefully Ruben Castro will stay on that development curve it's random on how long they stay on that for I've seen players staying for a very long time and I keep playing the matches as much as I can even if they're tired even if you just playing them for a half or bringing them as a sub for 30 minutes making sure they get some experience you want to keep doing that if you can but yeah that's it once again today guys so again severe in the next match join me for that one hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll see you then cheers